Spirit Fit Warriors. Today I'm going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Many people say fruits and as I was growing up I would always hear the fruits of the Spirit and people would be praying for certain parts of the, uh, the fruit but let's take a look at what scripture says in Galatians 5 22 through 23 but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit so it's a fruit and not fruits in our lives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control so I just wanted to clarify that, that when we're praying, we're actually praying for the entire fruit. Therefore, if we have the Holy Spirit within us, we want the entire fruit of all those things that we want to show as evidence and produce in our lives. With the holidays going to be approaching, Thanksgiving, Christmas, etc. Many times I believe that we are tested during those periods and have an opportunity to pray for the Holy Spirit to produce that fruit within us. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will reveal to us there's certain parts of the fruit that we don't have and we want their entire fruit. There will be people on the road, at the stores, etc. And here is where we can that be tested. You will be tested to show patience when you're sitting in traffic, waiting on the long lines, especially during the holiday season. Will you be kind, loving, and joyful when someone cuts you in line at the mall? Or on the road? Will you show gentleness and self-control? Maybe even to your pet when it does its business on your clean carpet? Before a guest arrives? Or when someone says something to offend you? The good news is that if you fail, or if we fail, we will be able to retake the exam. God is good. Therefore, never give up hope and continue to pray for the entire fruit of the Spirit so that the next time we are going to retake the exam, that we will, we will know what to expect. Therefore, we will be ready for the exam to produce the fruit that we've been seeking. So the question is, what part of the fruit are you praying for? In John 10.10, 10, the Bible says the thief's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says my purpose is to give him a rich and satisfying life. Let me give you a visual. When the enemy comes to steal your fruit, he does not come and pick from your tree. It's too time consuming for him. He comes and pours bad fertilizer around the foundation of your tree so that you will produce no fruit at all. But as you pour good fertilizer, which is as you read the word, the Bible that will fertilize your tree to give it the nutri nutrients for the roots to grow in the ground so that you can produce your fruit and you will be able to decipher the good from the bad fertilizer. I pray that whatever part of the fruit that you're seeking that you will be ready so when the test comes, the Lord will reveal to you that you have a mighty harvest in Jesus' mighty name.
John 14, 14 says, Yes, ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Therefore, let's all pray together to have the entire fruit of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia to the Lamb of God. God bless. As always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.